recording. You know what I'm saying? Don't say recording, say recording. I mean, that's just the deal. <laughs> don't say, don't say it like my mother used to say. Like my mother used to say, let me see if I, if I can back this up a little bit. Just a wee tad bit. Let's see. Right? Like my mother used to say, don't say water, say water. You know, I got the I got the accent from her, you know, and it sticks on my Bible studies, you know. It's not it's not a phony accent. So if Denise is out there saying, Angelo, you know, I know you better than anybody except for your wife. You know, and then she knows things that my wife doesn't even know about, you know. So, you know, kind of take that back a little bit. Because, you know, she grew up with me in Laval School, so she knows my temperament better than anyone except for Gil, you know. You know, as I make my, my breakfast over here, you know, I love peanut butter, though. You know, I, you know what's my favorite, before I get into all this other stuff, my favorite uh, food for breakfast, foods for breakfast, I don't know even how to speak anymore. <laughs> the, the Philippines. Bacon, bacon sandwich. I haven't had that in a while. Not because I can't. It's just that, you know, we don't have a refrigerator. So, you know, so that's it. I mean, I could get like an ice box thing. We have one of those and then it's, just, you know. And then, uh, then we have to buy ice all the time, man. It's gracious. With all the money I owe out the on, I can't even buy ice. <laughs> uh, on. But then, um. I like a peanut butter, anything with peanut butter, peanut butter crackers, peanut butter sandwich. So I'm an easy guy in the morning. I'm very easy, you know. I'm an easy do to please anyway, you know. I don't like elaborate things like pasta and all this other stuff that a lot of people like. And you have to do all this mumble jumble. You have to cook like this elaborate meal. I, I don't like elaborate, you know, I don't like like people working hard for me, you know, like to, to cook, you know, I cook myself anyway, because Riza's not here anymore, but I look at it, it's just a peanut butter sandwich, and that's it, you know, or um, bacon sandwich, or bacon and eggs, or just eggs, you know, I don't make, I don't make good scrambled eggs, so, sh you know, if I, if I want that, she'll make it for me, because I don't know how to make scrambled eggs, good, I, just, I never, I, that, that, I don't know, how, I don't know how to cook scrambled eggs, I don't know how as I lick the peanut butter off my finger. So I like peanut butter. I like bacon. I like a cereal. I like cereal. Like, you know, Cocoa Pops and stuff like that. And then, I, don't, I don't know if they have the other ones like Lucky Charms or Frosted Flakes and all this stuff. I don't know. Maybe in Cebu. Maybe if you ask over here in the supermarket, I can ask. And, you know, I know they have the Cocoa Pops, so that I know they have, you know. Me, what I like to drink, I like to drink a juice juice i'm a juice guy i don't like to drink wine uh, you know on occasion you know new year's and stuff like that i i like um i like wine like once in a while you know but i don't even I haven't drunk wine in, in like four years you know i'm not I, I don't drink anyway i don't drink or smoke you know I, I don't drink alcohol i don't smoke you know i don't like to do those things very bad for you you know especially with my eye condition you know, I can't, I can't do those things, you know, I don't like them, but I can't do them anyway, because you, then you lose your eyesight e even worse, you know, me, I have steady eyesight, you know, like just steady, you know, and, and if you do all those things, you know, you're going to mess them up, and anyway, even a regular person, if you, if you smoke a lot, smoking can leave you blind anyway, you know, I used to be a tour guide in a special place, and, and that's what we used to, one of the things we used to teach is not to smoke, you know, but anyway, um, I'm a juice guy, orange juice, I mean, grape juice, cranberry juice. I saw cranberry in Metro one day. Somebody left like two or three plastic containers of cranberry. I keep on forgetting that. I had the loan the other day and I didn't buy cranberry juice to my sugar. I don't know why it keeps on stopping like in three minutes. I don't understand that. That's bad, you know. I don't know. I, maybe it's like preset. Something like that. I don't know. I don't know the deal. I don't know why it does that. That's a pain in the neck. Like, let's say if I'm doing something like a birthday party or something, and it's going to turn off in, 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 in five minutes or whatever. And then the second recording you could do for half an hour. I mean, you know, but that's that's because if I'm teaching the Bible and I'm recording, then I might be saying something important. And then, you know, you're going to have to look back to see what I said to say it again in the second video. I mean, this is it's a good phone, though, you know. 
it's a good phone, you know. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name for this food, you know. So getting back to what I like food-wise today, food-wise, I think this is an audition, you know, for, for like a future relationship, you know what I'm saying? But, um, but I'm a very easy person to please, you know, uh, food-wise, because first of all, I do my own stuff, except for the eggs, like I said before, you know. Um, you know, I'm a very easy guy in the morning. You don't have to do anything for me. You know, the bacon I know how to do, that's easy. I could put that, if I have a microwave, put that in the microwave, you know. I eat, a, I eat some chicken in the morning. Sometimes I, I buy for Mercy Chicken, you know, in the morning, you know. And uh, I buy that. So that's already cooked from, from her side, you know. And uh, pancakes, I don't like. I don't like pancakes. I don't like oatmeal. I don't like um, I don't like fish. I don't like fish. I don't like fish. And I should eat fish, but then maybe I shouldn't because fish has mercury. So you know that's not good. You know the fish was better in Jesus's time. You know, but now I don't like fish. I don't like any kind of seafood. I don't like crabs. I don't like fish. I don't like this. I don't. I don't like any kind of seafood at all. You know, it doesn't mean that, you know, I can't go to a restaurant where, you know, people eat seafood. You know, I just, I'm just not going to eat, you know. You know, so I don't like seafood at all whatsoever. I never did, you know. But I like, like, like I said, I like, I like bagels. Bagels, you know, bagels. We put the peanut butter in the bagel. That's my favorite. Out of all the breads is the bagel, you know. I don't like jelly. You know, I like donuts though. I like um, uh, the what do you call it? The like the the stuff inside. You know, jelly donuts. You have jelly donuts. I like all kinds of donuts and stuff like that. But um, but like I said, I'm a very easy guy at breakfast and lunch. Very easy also. Lunch. I like other things for um for uh for breakfast also i guess you know but i have to think about it you know if i have to think about it it's just i haven't had it in a long time in the philippines you know in, in america i used to just just stock up you know oh sausages i love sausages for breakfast you know those little tiny sausages that they come in a, in, a, in a box like that you know i like those sausages i like that you know um, I don't like cheese. Anything with cheese, I don't like. I always order hamburgers without cheese outside. I'm not a cheese guy. I'm not a fish guy. You know, I just don't like. I just don't like the taste of it. You know. Um. Lunch. I just, I like hamburgers. I used to buy a lot of frozen food, like um. White Castles. I don't know if you have White Castles over here, but it's just a little tiny square hamburgers, you know. I used to buy those for lunch or dinner. I used to buy hamburgers, frozen hamburgers, you know. And um, uh, hot dogs, beef hot dogs. I haven't had beef hot dogs over here at all. I like beef hot dogs. I like uh, salami sandwiches or ham sandwiches for, for lunch. And nowadays, you know, I just cook rice and make uh, you know, corned beef or whatever, or save some chicken and eat that, you know. But but I'm a really sandwich guy, at lunchtime, you know, I like I like I used to like salami sandwiches or ham sandwiches, you know, like that, you know. That's what I really eat for for lunch. That's that's what I really used to eat for lunch, you know. Now it's a little different, you know, because I can't find salami over here. I don't even know if they have salami over here, you know. So, um, and uh, for dinner, I'm a rice guy, um, but I like yellow rice too, you know, and Riza doesn't know how to make yellow rice. You know, I, I like yellow rice more than white rice, but I like white rice also. I put ketchup on my rice. I like ketchup. I don't like nothing wet, but I like ketchup on my stuff. Sometimes I like ketchup on the eggs. Sometimes I like, I, I like ketchup on the rice. Catch up on the burgers, catch up on the hot dogs when I, when I, you know, I used to anyway eat them. You know, I don't like the hot dogs over here in the Philippines. They don't taste good. 
you know, the hot dogs that people make, I, I don't like them. They're, 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 they're no taste. <laughs> it's like eating paper or something like that, you know. I shouldn't say that because a lot of people are hungry in this world, you know. And so, you know, but um, I'm telling you what I like, you know, and don't like. But I, I like rice with uh, steak. I haven't had steak. No, I'm not talking about pork steaks. Pork steak is good. I'm talking about a steak, okay. I'm talking about cow or whatever, you know. Steak, that's real steak. You know, not pork steak, steak. But I don't have to have that. I like, I love chicken. It's my favorite food is chicken. You know, chicken. You know, not chicken soup or anything like that, but chicken, like fried chicken or whatever, you know. A nice cooked chicken, you know. I, that's what I like. Nice cooked chicken. Um, I love corned beef. I, I buy Argentina all the time, you know, every month, you know. I buy, uh, I like, uh, what else do I like? I like spaghetti. I like spaghetti. Spaghetti and meatballs, though, but, you know, I like spaghetti. I will eat that for lunch also, spaghetti, you know. Jollibee is my favorite chicken over here, but Kentucky Fried Chicken is the best chicken of all. That's in Cebu, though. You know, I have to order that, you know. But, um, I like rice and, and chicken or rice and steak and pork steak. I like, I like pork steak. I like the pork, fried pork, not the pork that Atian uh, told me to get from this, this person that came in the shop in the, in the store. I don't like that kind of pork, you know, cause I brought it to Risa and then she showed it to me and it wasn't the, the same pork that the family cooks. I like the, the, the fried pork, you know, fried, regular, regular fried pork, not something different, you know, um, and I like, uh, I don't like fish, like I said before. Um, can I eat sandwiches for, for, for dinner? Yeah, sometimes, you know, I used to do that in, in the United States. But what I used to do, I used to buy chicken for the whole month. That's why I'm so used to buying things for the whole month, you know. Uh, when I had, I had a refrigerator over there in the United States, you know, I had everything over there, you know, everything, basically, you know. And I used to um, buy a whole bunch of bags of chicken, you know, boneless chicken, and I used to put it in the freezer, and then last there for the whole month, you know, you know, so, praise God, praise God in Jesus' name, you know, what am I drinking now, coffee, I don't really drink, like, like to drink too much coffee, I bought tablea. I like tablea over here. Over there, I used to drink uh, in the United States Nestle uh, hot chocolate with marshmallows and stuff like that. So I like to I like to drink that in the morning, also not just juice. But I learned to drink coffee here. I wasn't a coffee guy over there in the United States whatsoever, unless my mother gave me a coffee, and that would be like once a year. <laughs> My mother used to be a, a coffee drinker, but I wasn't a coffee drinker. Almost 100%, nothing. Well, over here, I learned her to drink coffee because, you know, Risa, you know, drinks drinks coffee and the family drinks coffee and everybody drinks coffee. So, I, you know, then I tried it and it's okay. I like hot chocolate better. So I bought Tablea. I bought, um, I bought a Champion. Uh, sometimes, uh, but very rarely, I would buy Milo. I don't like Milo though too much though. I don't. I don't know what's the big deal about Milo. I like Champion better than Milo. To tell you the truth, you know. I bought uh, a whole bunch of coffee, a whole bunch of juice. I bought. I like pineapple juice. I buy them in cans, you know, pineapple juice. And I bought some uh, little juices for uh, my children. Little, little tiny, little tiny apple juices. You like you put the straw inside like that, you know. And Anna loved it. She drank it really quickly. I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy a whole bunch of those. That was just an experimental thing this month to see if they like it. But they have their milk and stuff like that, you know, bags full of milk. I, I, I bought perch tree by mistake. <laughs> I wasn't thinking right, you know. I, I was supposed to say bird brand. I said perch tree, but it's the same thing. Milk is milk, you know. I had. Uh, she didn't drink her milk last, last night, so I had to drink it. It just, just tastes the same, you know. Oh, and I used to buy milk, but gallons, gallons of milk, like two gallons of milk for one month. And that's about it, because you don't want to drink too much milk because it has cholesterol, you know. So I used to, you know, the big white gallons of milk. I used to buy just two of those, you know, for the whole month, you know. And, I, of course, I had a refrigerator, so I didn't have to worry about it spoiling. 
And with that, I would drink it plain or mostly with hot chocolate, you know, mixed with hot chocolate, the milk, you know. But you know, one of my favorite meats that they don't have over here, I don't think turkey. Oh, I used to love tur turkey on Thanksgiving Day. Oh, man. There's nothing like a good turkey on Thanksgiving Day. It tastes, it tastes better than chicken, the turkey. When you, when you put pepper in it and, and ketchup and stuff like that, it tastes better than chicken, you know. Turkey. I miss Thanksgiving in the United States. I don't know why they don't have Thanksgiving here. You don't have to celebrate it the same way. Just be thankful for something. Be thankful that you were liberated in during World War II against the Japanese. Just come up with something that you that you thankful for in the country, and it's good for the economy. That's why. If I was president, and I and I can't be, not because of my eyes, because I wasn't born here, so I, you know I can't be. I could be in the United States if I wanted to, but I, I gave that up, that idea up. I was training myself to be president of the United States. And uh, because anybody could be anything over there in the United States, even if you can't see well. All you need is charisma, a good voice, knowledge, you know. And you could do anything, basically, you know. But... I gave it up because I'm a Christian and I don't, I don't know for what, four years or eight years of glory and then the country's the same after you leave. I said, forget the hell with it, you know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to go for waste my time. I'd rather study the Bible and get that stuff up on YouTube and write, I wanted to write a book in the United States. I don't know if this video is coming out good, so well, so I don't, I don't know, I apologize if it's not. And um, I was going to write a book. You know, or several books. I have material. All I have to do is type out my material. You know, the, the audio material that I have, you know. And going like that with my eyes because I just got up from sleep like about an hour ago, you know. So I apologize for that, guys. And um, I was going to join the Salvation Army. I was going to do a lot of ambitious things in the United States. But, you know, that's why, you know, sometimes I'm angry at Reza because I left everything. I left uh, pictures of my mother and recordings of my mother and... And my mother's things, uh, you know, her furniture, her every, every incredible pieces of furniture, man. Incredible pieces of furniture and this and that and this and that. I left uh, tons of Bible materials over there, books and tapes and CDs and, you know, not DVDs. Cause I brought the DVDs over here, basically, you know. No, I left, I, I guess I left some over there, but... um. I left a lot of things. I left clothes, tons of clothes, tons of electronic equipment. I see the printer in Atia's office. I said, I had that in my house. I had a printer in my house. Better than the one that she has, you know, better, way better than the one that Atia has. I left a computer over there. I left a PlayStation over there. A whole bunch of PlayStation machines. I mean, st stereos, you know. I left so much stuff over there, it's not even funny, but the pictures of my mother and the pictures of the family, I mean, you know. And I, you know, my brother says that he has it in the in the in the in the basement. You know, he salvaged two of four boxes that he had of mine. Um, because the basement flooded with water, so two two of the four boxes that he that he had of my stuff were destroyed. You know, I don't know which ones, you know. I have to go over there. You know, I don't know when I'm going to go over there and just come back, you know, just to pick up my stuff and, and come back. You know, I don't know when I'm going to do that. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to do that because I could order Amazon, some stuff from Amazon. But the pictures and stuff like that, you can't order that, man. You can't order that. You can't order pictures. <laughs> pictures are, that's it. Once they're gone, they're gone, you know. Now, I have a lot of DVDs of my mother. I have a lot of DVDs of my mother. You know, we used to have a camcorder, you know, camcorder, you know. And, um... I don't know if you know what that, that is. It's a camera. We used to have a video camera. And I used to, you know, we got that in 1995. And I recorded a lot of stuff of my mother, my nephew, my brother, myself, even my sister, my niece Tasha, my nieces and nephews, you know. I think Savannah is the only one that I don't have a video of. It's, 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 I have a video of all the nieces. I have a lot of nieces in the United States, a lot of nieces. You know, um, but that's what I like to, that's what I like to eat, you know, I'm very easy guy. I, it's, I don't need like an elaborate meal, 
they have to cook for like three or five hours for somebody has to cook three or five hours for me. I, I, I you know, I don't like that trouble for me thing, you know. Put some peanut butter on the bread and that's it. Make some bacon and that's it. Or eggs and that's it. You know? Put some cereal on a, in a bowl from a box and that's it. It's just, you know. And I could cook the sandwiches myself for lunch. I could uh, I have a rice cooker over here. Um, I make rice myself. Nobody cooks for me over here. You know? And over there in the United States, uh, nobody used to wash for me because I used to go to the washroom in my building. And I used to do the wash myself, you know. I used to do the laundry myself, you know. But she she washes the clothes for me. Rizzo washes the clothes for me, even though she doesn't live here anymore, you know. So, you know. It's too bad that our marriage is not going to last. You know, I say it's too bad because we have two kids, you know. I have a specific plan, you know. I'm not going to say it. Because once you say something, my mother used to say it always damages, you know, it always, you know, goes to pock, you know, like Norton used to say. But um, um, I have a specific time in my in my uh, brain when I'm going to speak to the, when I'm going to speak to the lawyer. When I'm going to have the money for the lawyer, I have a specific time right here and it's going to be in one shot. And I'm going to have money left over, God willing, if I keep to what I'm planning in my mind. If I keep to what I'm planning in my mind, you know, that is it. You know, once I once I determine to do something, I do it, you know, God willing, you know. Well, I, I told Risa a long time ago, this, is what, this was when I was in the United States and Risa was obviously here. We were already engaged, you know. Um, over the phone, <laughs> and I had to go to work to in order to not to come here because I, I I bought the tickets already to come here. I bought the tickets to come here already, but like for other things, you know, just had to go to work to 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 have some money when I'm here and stuff like that, you know. Um, Cause I bought the, the plane tickets. I bought myself. That was six hundred and ten dollars at that time. You know, probably now it's over a thousand. Who knows? So that was that was some some time ago. It was five years ago. It's gonna be six years this year that I'm here. It's gonna be six years. And uh, October the twenty twenty eighth, I, I arrived over here. October the twenty eighth, having left on the twenty sixth of October over there in the United States, I went from. The United States to China, which is 15 hours. Then I stayed in China for 15 hours, and I waited for a plane. The last, the plane flight in China that lasted from China to the Philippines four hours. And then for four hours, and when I got there, I had to travel three hours over here from Cebu Airport to over here. You know, so everything together was more than 30 hours of travel time. You know, including 19 hours plane flight time. You know, it was a 15 hours, 15 hours, that's 30, four hours, that's 34, and then three hours so over here, that's 37. That's 30 hours, that's, 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 that's two days and a half of travel. That's why I get upset at her, because I did all that stuff, you know? I risked my own life going 15 hours in the air for, for her, man. I mean, you know. So, I said... I said, honey, don't worry. I'm going to be working because every time I want to get a job, God helps me to get a job. Every time. It doesn't fail. When I wanted to work in the United States, when I wanted to work, I worked every single time. I said, don't worry. It's going to take some time because jobs, it's not like that. You just go in and get a job like that. No, it takes time. Interview process. You have to get trained for an interview. Uh, sometimes you have to get trained again for an interview. Because I was uh, sponsored by the Commission for the Blind and the Catholic Charities, so they have their protocol. You just can't leap over. Even though you have training all your years, it doesn't matter. It's just like you're starting from from brand from the start. Because there are techniques that that are new that you know they want to give you. Even though I'm a seasoned veteran when it comes to jobs, it doesn't make a difference. You can't skip the process. You know you have to go through their process. 
before they land you a job, you have to get trained. It doesn't matter if you work for 20 or 30 years. It's just, it doesn't matter. Okay? Especially when you open up the case, you know, with the Commission for the Blind, you know. The Commission for the Blind is, a, is an agency uh, sponsored by the government that helps uh, people who are legally blind obtain jobs, uh, go to college, uh, get glasses and stuff like that. I have special glasses that I use in Atian's office, you know that I use also for drawing because I'm a great drawer. I'm not a good drawer, I'm a great drawer. I just haven't drawn anything any anytime soon. I haven't, you know, not that I gave it up, but I just don't do it anymore. I don't draw anymore, you know? <clears throat> but I'm a great drawer. I could draw anything. I was going to actually be an architect because that's how good I am. I could have been a singer and I could have been an architect and I'm waking up my baby now. Anna's waking up. So, but, you know, I don't know. But I said, so I said, sweetheart, don't worry. I'm going to get a job because it never fails. And she was worried about it. I wasn't worried. I have faith in the Lord, Jesus Christ, that I'm a Christian person. And I said, I said, I have faith in him that he's going to move things to, 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 so I can get hired. And what did I get? Just any cleaning job. Like I had plenty of those cleaning jobs and dishwashing jobs. And I had an office job with Catholic Charities, you know, an immigration, not the immigration department, the refugee department. I had great jobs. I was a tour guide, a dialogue in the dark. I was a tour guide. I used to get twelve dollars an hour. I used to get equ equivalent to that is um is uh, like six hundred pesos an hour. I used to get, and that was that was thirteen years. That was twelve years ago. Now you would get probably more than that. You probably get like twenty dollars. You probably get like a thousand pesos an hour. An hour, I'm talking about not a day like over here. I mean, over here, they're making money. Some people that we used to make in the United States in the 1950s, it was like that 500 peso a day in the 1950s. It's just, that's that's but then the rent is higher over there, the rent is cheaper over here in some places and some islands, you know. So, I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's like you're you're you catch 22, you know what I mean? So, I mean, you know. The rent is high over there, the salary is better. The, the, the rent is low over here, the salary is worse. So which one is better, you know? I would take the Philippine way over, because there's no rent control over there, you know? Sometimes the rent over here is what, $40? Uh, uh, <laughs> that's, again, $40, paying $40 a rent um, over here, which is 2,000 pesos in some places, you know, because like if you go to Atian's office, you want to rent space there or whatever, rent the room or whatever it is. I don't know. It's a 14,000 peso, which is roughly like $300. It's still not even close to what I used to pay over there in, 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 you know, if I was to pay it, you know, in the United States for rent. And my rent was more than $1,200. The government paid like about $1,000 like 50,000 peso, and then I put the rest of it, you know, I put like, you know, $200 or $300 or whatever it was, you know, so the rent is incredibly, incredibly high over there, man, incredibly high, you know, and I said to Risa, you know something, there's, there's couples that work, it's not only that the husband works, or the husband gets money and that's it, no, the, 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 the woman does something also, you know, this this idea that the woman is like in the 1950s, she's, she's barefoot and pregnant and stays in the house and doesn't do anything, doesn't contribute to the to the to the to the growth of the family. That's gone. That's gone. There's no, no, no such thing as like that. The, the stay at home moms. OK, fine. But the stay at home moms nowadays, they, they're on their computer working, making a living working, you know, in, in, in a house. You know, it's not like before that you just stay home, but you don't do no income. How are you going to do income in the house and being in a house in the 1950s? It's impossible. But now with the computer, you can make money online. So not only does she, you know, contribute by by helping the husband, you know, take care of the kids and take care of the house. And when he comes, everything is cozy and neat. And OK, fine. If people do that, but they some of them work online, the ones that are not lazy anyway. You know, so. But that's what I like to do. That's, you know, and I like to go out to eat in a restaurant. You know, there was uh, Tio Polo's was a nice little restaurant to go to. Um, and you got the fast food restaurants, you know, that I used to go to Burger King, less than McDonald's, though. McDonald's and then Kentucky Fried Chicken, KFC. Chinese food was, a, oh, man, I love Chinese food, though, man. 
I don't know if it's the same over here in the Philippines, the Chinese food. I don't know. But Chinese food, I used to order that all the time. I used to call. And the guy used to come in his bicycle. Chinese guy used to come in his bicycle and bring me a bag of Chinese food. You know? Just like the restaurant, Tio Polo. I used to call Tio Polo. And they had rice and steak or whatever. And bring it over. You know, like that. Um, BBQs, like BBQs, me and my brother used to go out to eat, you know, once a month like that. We used to hang out in a shopping mall or buy some, some music or DVDs, movies and stuff like that. We used to go to BBQs, I think it was, BBQs, I think that's what you call it. It's a it's nice restaurant, you know, you know, we used to go there. I'm not a restaurant guy. I don't like to you know, too much, you know, but like, you know, once a month or something like that, you know, I'm not a restaurant guy though, you know, and I, I like to go to a restaurant, but when I go, I like people to eat with me. I don't like people to tell me like, like Risa did the other day because, you know, I still try to be nice to her because she is a human being and I am a human being, you know, so even though she's not, we're not the same, but it doesn't mean I'm going to hate her. I invited her to go out. So what did she do? You know, when all is said and done, a lot of stuff happened in between, but when all is said and done, she didn't want to eat. So I say, why are you inviting me to a place if you don't want to eat? You know, she wanted to eat and stuff like that. I said, you know, some things <laughs> and then she didn't want to eat. I said, well, I don't like people coming with me. They don't eat. I hate people coming with me. They don't eat. I hate people, you know, when they, when they, when we go to a shopping mall and then I have money in my pocket. If I don't have money in my pocket, okay, fine. But if I have money in my pocket, I say, honey, buy this. And the person doesn't buy it, I don't like that. I don't like that, man. I hate window shopping. I don't like just window shopping, looking at something, looking at there. You know, I am, sometimes, you know, you, you, you go into a shopping mall to waste time or, or to maybe gather some information, some intel, you know. <laughs> To, when I get my next loan, then I put it on the list. Oh, this costs this, this costs that, you know, like that. That costs that, you know, who tossed in the cane? I was in Greek, you know, this and that, you know, so what I'm saying? So, who tossed means uh, this and a cane house means that in Greek, you know. And so, um, you know, so you want to gather your prices and stuff like that before, you know, the, the the regular norm. I don't like to do window shopping. Oh, just look around. I'm not a look around guy. I like you to buy. I like you to buy clothes. I like you to buy uh, your food. I like you to buy, you know, all that stuff. You know, I'm not, and I just, I don't like just to go out and just look around. I don't like, hate to do that, you know, unless we're in the park or on the beach and look around like that, you know, yeah. You know, so basically that's what I like to eat. And that's a, other, a lot of other things that I like also, you know, I'm a, I'm a snack guy to my chagrin. I shouldn't eat a lot of snacks at my age. But I'm a potato chip guy. I'm a peanut guy. I like peanuts. I like potato chips. I like cake. I like all uh, chocolate bars. I like all the stuff that's not good for you. You know, I like fruit. I like pineapple. I like. They don't have peaches here. They don't have strawberries. But they have bananas here. They have mango. I love mango. You know, grapes. They have grapes over here. At least they have something. At least they have something. They don't have everything over here. Because of the climate, but they have something. I like oranges, you know, and stuff like that. So I like to, you know, I should buy that more. But anyway, why isn't the back done, Angela? Why are you living like that? Why, you know, why don't you have cement on the walls? I don't know if I want to stay here. Why, why should I waste money? <laughs> I don't know if the property is going to be won by the Tapayat family or the... Or the other part of the Tapaya family, <laughs> they're, taking, they're taking themselves, they're taking each other to court. Can you believe this? You know, a house divided, Jesus said, can it stand? No. But come to an end. I'm waiting to see how that's going to go. I don't want to fix this house up. And then I'm going to have to sell it because I have to leave the property, you know? Come on, man. I'm not stupid. It's going to stay like that until this thing is resolved, you know. You know, I can buy some stuff for in the house, you know, like the refrigerator and and the beds and the stuff and all this other stuff. But, like, and I could do some things, you know, like I want to close up that area of the door in the back, you know. 
and I might put the windows there because I could take the windows with me anyway, you know, if I decide to build a house someplace else, those windows are coming with me, you know, I could do that. Just so, so I might look better and kind of stifle the noise that, that comes from outside, you know, if I put another set of windows there, I mean, I could do that, but you know, that's another thing and that's another conversation for another day. This is Angela Quinone is always giving the praise to God, the God who saved me, the God, um, and if we have any food, we have to be very thankful. I like to give thanks. I like people to say thank you to me, but I like to give thanks also to people. I say Teresa all the time, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. She gives me something, I say thank you. Because in the United States, you say thank you. I don't know about over here. I mean, you know, Kathy says thank you a lot. My sister-in-law, she says thank you. Now my mother-in-law, she says thank you. She learned how to say thank you. She, 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 she wasn't thankful before for the things that I did. So at least you have two people saying thank you, you know. You know, what's so wrong about saying thank you to somebody when they do something good to you? You understand what I'm saying? I mean, it's just common sense. You, you learn that in Sesame Street. I mean, you learn that in Coco Melon. Come on. I mean, it's just, just be thankful. But I don't want to talk too much because, you know, I don't want to wake up the baby because I have things to do. So I want her to sleep because it's not fair. You know, she slept, I think, at 4 o'clock in the morning and it's about like uh, 8 o'clock now or whatever it is. So, you know, I just want to be, you know, considerate, you know. Um, so that's the stuff that I like. That's the stuff that I don't like. Um, we have to be thankful to God for the food that we have. If, 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 I, if I have this, we have to be thankful even for this. You understand what I'm saying? Because people in Gaza right now, they will want they will want a sandwich, you know? You know? Hi, is that you? Hello? Oh, I thought that was... So that was Reza because she's going out to to, to get uh, the baby's things today, like the, the medicine and this. I told her to come over here because I want to give her some money to get me some things that I didn't buy um, the other day in a supermarket, you know, Happy Manny and stuff like that. Because peanuts are very good for you, you know. Um, you know things that are going on in Ukraine and other countries. Um, people don't have food at all whatsoever. I mean, nothing. We have to be thankful to God. Every time we put something in our mouth, or even before, we have to say, Father, thank you in Jesus' name for the food that we get. I learned that at a very early age. I'm not a Catholic. I'm an evangelical born-again Christian. I am not a Catholic at all whatsoever. You know, I have nothing to do with that um, because of certain things that they teach. You know, Mary being the queen, she's not the queen. Jesus is the king of kings. We don't need a queen hanging around on a throne. <laughs> we don't need that. We don't need to pray to Mary or the saints. We could pray to Jesus or the Father. We don't need nothing else. We don't need extra things, you know, that people invent. That's why I'm not a Catholic. I gave that up. I became, I became a Catholic when I was a young boy. But uh, one of the good things that we learn um, is to give thanks. You know, even in Catholicism, you know, I learned how to say thank you to God. You know, so I, you know, some things I, I, that I used to do as a, as a, as a young boy, as a, as a young Catholic, I incorporate now. I mean, the Lord's Prayer, that's, that's good. You know, that's in the Bible. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. I, you know, giving thanks to God. Those are, those are good things to do. That's a universal thing. It should be done by everybody because not everybody has what we have. Even though this house is not finished. You know, people in Gaza would, would, would kill to have uh, just a house like this in the beginning stage of things. But they will at least, you know, when it rains, it, 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 you, you're not rained upon. You can sleep in peace and stuff like that and do your things and watch your movies and use your cell phone. And they'll see in the future if they win, you know, the property or whatever the case may be. If the other side wins, I could give money to... to to, to stay here, buy a bit of land or whatever the case may be. I don't know what I'm going to do. And I, honestly, quite honestly, I have so many choices. I don't really care, you know. So, because um, I don't like Don Pedro anyway, you know. I just don't like, I don't like this village, you know. And that's another story altogether. The gossip, the, the stuff, you know. Uh, enough for all that, you know. The noise, you know, everybody plays the karaoke speakers. So I'm not talking about that, but just the motorcycles going in and out and all this other stuff. It wakes up my baby and it's just, I just want a nice, quiet place for Anna to live in, you know, a quiet, nice environment, you know. And this is a quiet environment when they're not, when the motorcycles are not 
humming and the cars are not buzzing and, and the dogs are not barking in the middle of the night and the roosters and all this garbage, you know, in noise. You know, it's just too much, you know. So I used to live next to the beach. It used to be very quiet. There's no, first of all, roosters, you can't have a rooster. It's, it's illegal to have a rooster in the United States. Is illegal. Now, probably in the south you could have them, but in the north, in where I used to live in New York, northeast, you can't have a rooster, man. <laughs> they put you in jail. You know, they'll, they'll, they'll give you a fine or put you in jail, whatever the case may be. There's no roosters over there. You don't hear any motorcycles, you know, buzzing around because everybody has a car. You know, motorcycles are very, very, you know, a, you don't see a lot of motorcycles in the street. You know, you might see one here, one there, but you just, just you know. But that's another conversation a conversation for another time. This is Angelo giving always thanks and praise to God, the Father, to the Lord Jesus Christ, and in the Holy Spirit. And, um, you know, please subscribe to my channel. Please give me a thumbs up. <clears throat> and please leave a comment on the screen. And I have to thank, you know, Anna, my daughter, because the last time I looked, there was 1,900 views on a particular video that I did of her. So she's helping the ministry tremendously she's helping uh, the channel tremendously and uh, she has the best viewed video on this channel of all time it's, it's probably 2,000 views by now and um, I had let it go in it so but still there's a lot of other things that has let it go and it's not viewed like that um, it's just growing like crazy and um, it's growing to such a degree that it's um, already caught up and is catching up to some of the things some of the things not all some of the things that i used to do on the first channel angelo kyky quinones which has some views has i have one video that has nineteen thousand views the tetragrammaton by angelo kyky angelo kiki quinones has nineteen thousand views as a as a yhwh and then the number six thousand eight hundred and twenty eight that's my video has almost twenty thousand views I have another one that has almost 9,000 9, views. That's on my first channel. My first channel, 3,000 subscribers, is very su successful. You know, very successful channel. The first channel is successful. The second channel and the third channel, not so much, you know. Because I'm, I'm not in the United States to, to, to spice up the channel and to put things that I, that I need to put and stuff like that. Uh, I have things on the memory, uh, on my memory drives that I brought here, but... I can't up upload them on my channel unless I could connect it to my TV one day and do it that way. Um, if I put those up there, well, there's going to be a, there's going to be thousands of subscribers right over here, you know. And then I'm going to get back to where I was before the first channel. I have thousands, you know, thousands of views. I uploaded a, a video that this, that's not my own, but I uploaded a video that probably right now is reaching um, 900,000 views. Okay, it's going to be a million views in probably five years. So I'm going to have my first one million viewed video, you know. Again, it's not me, but it's a, it's a debate that I that I uploaded, that I was responsible for uploading. So it's my video, you know, because I uploaded it, you know. And it has been a tremendous help to the Christian church. Okay, guys, take care. This is Angela. Bye. Bye.